Okay, guys, Boston, Massachusetts is checking in. All right, listen. We're going to let this run for a minute. A little Dirk in the house because he's doing some big things around here. He's doing some big changing things around here. Facts. Anyways, listen. So, ah, so much is happening. So let's hit you with the good news first. I'm excited about I got 100,000 views and I feel good about that. Thank you for my viewers. I don't know. I'm trying to make you, I'm trying to really make you bite the apple. Yes, I need you to bite the apple with me. <laughs> if I'm full of shit, then don't bite the apple. But if I am, if, if you can relate to the content that I put out here, show your sister some love, man. Show your sister some love, man. I'm coming to you authentic. Raw. Straight from the heart. My world to your world. Letting you know it doesn't matter how you look. You see, one thing about my page is you could be yourself flaws and all that you can have a voice you can have an opinion you don't have to have all your teeth you don't have to make yourself look bad you don't have to expose yourself you don't have to be on on camera twerking and that be your life and just you resort to sex you got a mind you got a voice you could use that it doesn't matter how you look you can show your face you can show your eyes you feel me it doesn't matter how you look do you i'm just letting you in my world and my world is what it is period one two three guys anyways headed to the laundry okay i said once i get to 100,000 views i was gonna show y'all my face hack what I do to take care of my face because y'all know since pandemic or I would say since three to four months ago my face has really been going if that was a language okay that's how my face been going and it's been really 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 yeah I've been like oh my gosh my face and I can't cover it so I gotta be real I gotta be me I gotta be who I am period and I gotta love it too with all my heart all my soul and all my mind and I do okay that's the good news too so now moving forward so there is this young man I love him he just had a baby he is married his his, his gravity takeout that is his channel I share his content too because that brother, he's rational, he's sound, the way he breaks things down, the way he speaks, you know, his temperance. I love it. And anyways, there's this other jerk. I'm not going to even say anything about him, but just come to find out, he went at the guy from Gravity Takeout, and guess what? He Googled him and found out his name is not even what it is. That's his stage name. Who gave him that name? Who gave him that name? You know how all Hollywood people have a name? So he might be a part of the elite, the Hollywood, and that's why he never have nothing good to say. He can be so disrespectful to women. I remember one time he was out and someone beat him up. They punched him. They set him up at a studio. Y'all know who I'm talking about. I won't say his name. He's disrespectful and disgraceful. And he came at my man. Kwame Brown after he was on his show I shared that content I shared I was like oh that's interesting that's good and you know I gave it the benefit of the doubt and then he turned on my man and I didn't like that but anyways he go after a lot of Kwame Brown supporters the dead all of that you know who he is I'm not gonna call his name because see when you call their name people go look for them I don't look for them niggas because they, they ain't got nothing I want to hear I'm not interested I'm not interested okay you don't come at the righteous like that, nigga. Stay in your lane. You bow down to righteousness. You know what it is. You know the laws of life. That's the law of life. You bow down to righteousness. Righteousness don't bow down to evil, man. That man did nothing wrong. Good. I would love for my grandson to be taking a coding class at his age to be a part of the future. I would love for that to happen. Okay? There is truth in what this man is saying. Fourth grade reading levels. There is a Mary Corp. Check them out, guys. You can go in 
to the classrooms for 10 months and work with kids from K to 3. You can take a group of them and work with them or you can work with kids individually to make sure that they're reading at a certain age in age level. And when he say boys cannot read at the the boys are reading at the fourth grade level, that's true. I'm going to join a Mary Corp just so I can read go and read some kids. I'm trying to just work some things out. If I don't do it like immediately I will do it in the near future because I am employed. I'm just out on pay. Okay, I'm on paid leave. But I would love to join that program, AmeriCorp. AmeriCorp of America. It is a federal government program. They want people from all backgrounds. You, at some point, will be able to implement your own idea. And I guess that's why you have to be affiliated in network because we do need the help to get even our own programs established and organized. You understand the, what we want to do. We want to impact lives. That's what Kwame Brown is all about. Impacting lives. Saying, hey, we got to get these kids at a young age. That's true. Others are doing it. The same thing that Kwame Brown is doing, I'm telling you, AmeriCorp is doing it. All people from all backgrounds go into these disadvantaged neighborhoods and read to these children for 20 minutes. Monitor them. Make sure that they're at the reading capacity, that they're able to do whatever or meet the requirements they are supposed to according to the standards that's out there. Honey, listen, it's just time we have to work. We have to work. We have to work. And there's nothing wrong with that. We've been resting too long. Thank you, Kwame, for inspiring us. You know, there's some good things that brother got the ball rolling on and believe me they looking at him hard and heavy because he's making a difference he's the truth he is the truth he's like a big giant I like him and I'm afraid of giants <laughs> welcome to Burger King would you like to donate one dollar to the Jimmy Fund today? not today may I have a large excuse me a medium regular uh -huh. cream and sugar please anything else? no that's it thank you, thank you. So, you know, I like him. He's rational. He makes sense. He speaks the truth. And, you know, I am I have his character, too. Like, we can have a difference of opinions. We don't have to all think alike. We can relate to one another, but we don't all have to think alike. You understand? So, it's all good. You understand? But I am like, oh, today I'm going to show y'all my face hack. Remember my face was breaking out for the last four months? Hi, honey. How are you? I'm well. So now I'm going to let y'all in to what I do to treat my skin. I'm going to tell you the benefits of it. You know, and I'm really like with home remedies. That's what got this back together. Home remedies and prayer. Like, God, please clear my face. Please, please, please clear my face, God. I don't even know what it is to have difficult skin. Thank you, honey. I've always had great skin, but that didn't last forever. So I had a problem, like Houston, we got problems. For real, for real. So I had a problem with my face, and I'm like, ugh. And I was like, I can't hide it with my teeth. Oh my gosh, if y'all go on my Instagram, I think it's Raina Wilson. It's got an angel up there, because I, I took a picture, I caught a fairy angel, and I took a picture of it. So that's the, the uh, Instagram account. Anyways, guys, listen. Over here is all about personality. Me, myself, and I. My personalities. Okay? And I did say alities because you know what? There's going to be days I feel like, yay. And then there's going to be days I feel like, ah. There are days I feel like, ah. You understand? But it's still all a part of me how I feel internal and I'm expressing it period so anyway so since I meet, met the 100,000 view mark which I'm excited because I feel like I'm not a celebrity and to do that is good <laughs> thank you thank you viewers thank you that means I can create buzz I'm very proud of that 
okay so anyways I will be telling you the benefits of the products that I use okay and I will show you a hack that I use for my face because I steam my face so you know I can get the blood circulating Ugh. like you know what I mean it kill all of them germs some people use that that blue lights but I just use natural steam and you know what if I want to do an essential oil or anything like that a treatment it's all still natural products when I do my facial it's all natural products key ingredients you know and then I'd be like yo coming out here in the world coming on YouTube like yo look at me look at me Hey, look at me. Hey, look at me. Hey, you know what I mean? <laughs> we headed to the laundry. I couldn't find the laundry card. And that was very interesting because I'm like, all of these times, I, all this time I've seen so many, so many of these damn cards and now I can't find one? What is going on, Yasana? I don't know. I thought I put it here, but apparently I didn't. Hey, Tommy, um, excuse me, Kwame Brown got some moderators, and some of them I really like. I really, I'm happy this happened, because I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have known a Kwame Brown, I wouldn't have known a Casino for Life, I wouldn't have known a Hood Hampton, I wouldn't have known a Demis Talanucci Takeover, so many other real positive channels outside of the channels that I used to watch and all of that crazy stuff. Sometimes YouTube get a little crazy and I'm like, oh gosh, it's time for Mr. Creeps. You know, I'm going to let y'all hear my Mr. Creeps, what I mean by that. That's these other shows that I watch. If you know, I'm a real YouTube watcher. I am a viewer of YouTube. Believe me, I personally select what I want to share in my world and on my platform. So I do watch the cautions. You know, I do try to keep y'all informed with what's happening, especially with the government. We got to get at these governments, guys. I'm telling you, sometimes you just got to turn your energy towards productivity. What does that mean? So that means like sometimes you got to follow up with doing researching and watching some of these channels that teach you how to be independent self get income at home passive income government in case you want to transition into the government and do business with them and you know just there are channels out here that help you inform you show you they're like a road map you know they send you the different job boards different you know resources that you need to be uh, productive and prosperous you know like other than watching the YouTube there's so much information out here it is a wealth of information YouTube is like a library YouTube is like a library at your beck and call like it's always great to read at the end of the day you do have to read but I'm telling you, YouTube is like the library at home. You don't need no damn card. You can be anything you want to be. You, you are welcome as long as you don't, you know, you stay within the guidelines of the policy. You know, and Roco TV, they're doing their own thing too now because they realize that, you know, people want real people and shit. They want to see a motherfucker with missing teeth sometimes. You know what I mean? They're here like this. You understand? <laughs> like you just rolled them out of the bed. Hold on, let me pull over. <laughs> like you just rolled them out of the bed and shit. That's what they want to see. They want to see who you are. They try to see your fake phony motherfuckers. And I don't blame them. Because you know what? Too much be like, that's all you do. You sound like a cackling hen. Or you're boring. Or a next. Or I can only really, I mean, it's the ones who watch you to the end of your program. Those are your real supporters. And I always have for me, I know one person owe me shit to the world. 
But to me, one person means everything to me. As they always say, each one teach one. We got to reach one. So if I reach one, I'm happy. If I can listen to some information that you say and then I can go follow up on it and it turns out to be a good door, an open door for me and I'm prosperous, that is what I'm interested in. You understand? I'm not interested in no... If you're going to be a storyteller, be a storyteller. But if you want to be real, be real. You know, but there's too much violence and stuff like that I'm not with. And even though I voice my opinion, that's all it is, my opinion. And that's what we have to learn. Words. You know, this is practice makes perfect. Words. Listening to words. Breaking down words. Learning how to be reserved like Kwame Brown. Look how he's tactful too and he's reserved. Because you know what? He'll listen to you. But that's how he lasted in that, that, that job that long. That was his job. He took that bullshit. He dealt with it. He let them get their shit off. He kept his mouth closed and got that money. And a lot of us can't do that. That's a skill. That's a skill. That is something. I don't even know. God, that's something God can only give you. Because a lot of us be like, fuck that. No one likes to be talked to rudely or to be told the truth or to be told to be corrected, to be reproved. No one likes that. I like it because I'm like, okay, like, you know, I'm going to give you a prime example. So one day I went and I seen a guy at the pond, he, him and his son had a boat. And I went up and I just was recording it, just the reboot. But I was out of order when I did that. I didn't record him because I was like, you know what? He might not want to be on film, so I didn't record him. So I just recorded the item that was with him. And y'all seen the boat footage? So I seen him again at the pond because I wanted to get the 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 boat on the water. So I was like, yo, I seen him again. I said, Let me go over here. So I went over there again the same way, and I started to film again. And he was like, no, you can't do that because. That's what, that's my secret, why my boat is fast. And I was like, oh, okay. So I wasn't able to do it that time. And I was happy that he informed me of that. You know, I can't look at it as a check because it was, it was, it wasn't done in malice. It was really, I didn't know. Thank you. I didn't know that. I said it never will happen again. And I learned some information. So now... I was just to like film the boat itself as opposed to the interior of the boat. And it wasn't a little speed boat, but still he might be in competitions. And you know, so I understood exactly what he was saying. And that was a lesson to me. And I think as long as you live, it will always be lessons. What we have to work on is approach. I'm pretty certain where I probably see my video and was like, had criticized me first about how I look, but it doesn't take away from what I have to say. See, we always get caught up into the messenger, how he look, not what he's saying. Sometimes he can look and still call you a bitch and motherfucker and talk shit right in your face because he got money, he don't have to respect you. No, temperance. I read about the fruit of the spirit all the time. And he said when you conduct yourself a certain way, this is what the word said. God said. There's no law against that. People can't come at you a certain way. I'm going to read that one day to you guys. I read scripture daily, even though I curse. Forgive me, Father. But that's the thing. I ask for forgiveness. And I'm willing to work on it. So, you know, let me go back to what I was saying. In regards to just being words. Words are a thing that can get you in your emotions and your feelings and take you out of character or put you, you know what I mean? They can have you floating on cloud nine or make you scorching angry like a woman scorned in hell. Words. They can get you slapped. They can get you punched. They can get you killed. Words. 
It shouldn't be that way. But we don't went to war over words because believe me, before we brought out the tanks, the guns, the planes, the gas, all of that shit, we discussed it. We talked about it. Everything is always about a discussion before it's an actual war unless you are genuinely attacked at random. So we have to learn conversation is like a war too because they can ignite it can ignite a flame get you all in your feelings get you to hate a person get you to never ever talk to a person when they say you could words is something you'll take to your grave words now again like i said whack probably didn't like what i said and i'm probably out of order i am out of order as a woman getting into men's business because it's truly up to that man but as a woman as a mother if that was my son that's why i interjected into that business because that man was out of order yes i could have said it better than what i did i think but it came the way it did again words you know and if you don't mean what you say you shouldn't say because it ain't like i could take that back i felt what i felt you know that's the bottom line what a 21 savage was my son you don't have the right to approach that him like that and even if you did i would want him to check you as a man like fuck you nigga and i meant that as a man good bad indifferent and, and he understand that because he said the same thing as a man if you come to him a certain way we gonna rumbo and then he's willing to kill you like any other man is if you violate them Acting like a damn animal while here. I got the bear spray for you. Bazak, bazak. Okay? It's just the fact that what is the violation of their words? They're on a huge platform. They influence many of millions of people millions of people people look at them like so some people they still don't know them. people who don't follow them that's not into that they they don't mean anything to them but people who follow them and that's into that and like their radio station and love hip-hop believe me they listening so they influence culture changes cultural changes they tell you what to like what to dislike they tell you who to like and who to dislike because some of us are followers we don't care what an individual do we loyal to some sinful shit out here sometimes we don't care that's what it is and that's your right no one can change that and just be just know like may god have mercy on your soul because he's the one who determined where you won't go heaven or hell but just know if you got some hellish ways on earth, your destiny just may be hell. You understand? Like, don't be duped by the world and the lies, the deception of the world. It's a web. And there's people that's willing to entangle you in that web, willingly and freely. They you don't even, thank you, thank you. You don't even have to be doing anything to them. There's people that just don't like you just because. There's people that just get involved in shit to like to meddle in another man's business. But like, there's always a truthful word that's out there that says before the pride, before the fall, the pride. So you gotta make us amp it up like we, we, we the, you know what I mean? Everything's going great, swell, and smooth. You gotta amp it up like that. But you know, all after this camera, what's really going on, and you know, you just gotta remember, we gonna find out. We will find out. It's just you don't wanna dupe your people. And I mean, I don't put all my business out here in the world, but enough, you know, I'm just saying, come on, chill out with me. You understand? People be like, I'm from the hood. I used to live in the hood. And even in the hood, they used to be like, you're like the white people. <laughs> The white person that live in the hood, that live in the suburbs. You're like the black person from the suburbs that live in the hood. And I was cool with everybody in the hood, including the gang members. They loved me and they respected me and they still do to date. Still to, to date. 
You understand? And not because I was trying to be down. Because I ain't trying to be down with anybody. I had three daughters. I have three daughters. And they used to say my nickname is S-A-Y. Say. Say don't play that. And I don't. My daughters don't got criminal records. They're all very professional, well-educated women. Okay? They got their, man, they got it together. They have a child each. One of my, both of my daughters, two of my daughters. And you know, they straight. Never been involved with the law. They got some degrees behind them. They doing them. I have a son-in-law. I'm straight. And I go down to the hood. People be amazed when I go out to the hood. I'd be amazed I live where I live today, but it's in order with. It's in order with who I am, my character. And even my baby girl, my baby girl, she wasn't all hood. She she's not hood. You know what I mean, <laughs> she's not hood at all. She's one of those people that don't be trying to come out the house now type sisters. Like, girl, bye. At times. Because she don't know about that life. You understand? And I don't know about it neither. To, only to a certain extent. It comes with love, joy, and pain. That's what I do know. That's what living is. That's what that life is. You understand? If you do right in this life, as Scarface said, if you roll the dice once... If you roll the dice right the first time, you seldom get to roll them twice. You seldom get to roll them twice. Shout out to the ghetto boys. Scarface. R.I.P. Bushwick. Bill. You understand? So, that's the truth. And that's why Kwame's trying to get our youth now. Because we need them soldiers, man. These are young, impressionable lives. What they doing to these people can impact them. Someone just showing them attention, the right attention, can impact their lives. Like Kwame Brown, remember, he remembered lunch lines, monitors, you know, not being able to afford sneakers, those tough times, those times of tribulations, what they call them trials and tribulations. But you know, he's an example of overcoming those things. God blessing him. And, he, and there was a lot of people and a lot of, he had a lot of brothers. He has a lot of brothers. You know, he's a baby boy who did big things in his family. And he didn't shit on his people. He understood them. And he, he tried to figure out how do we get here. And see, everybody always try to figure out why I'm not. How do we get here? And they do remember things. And it is tough love. And he had the right people in his ear. You know, for not, there is a school being built in my neighborhood on the same stuff he's talking about. But you got to pay into it. He's talking about a free system. Let them open these schools across America. And let them even teach the people who got the skills in the neighborhood. Let them go into these schools one hour, two hours, and let them learn new trades. Let them learn trades and skills and coding. We got the infrastructure. That is the infrastructure. We should be able to use, utilize those buildings for good use. That's good use. If you can just write a proposal. Get, like these people on the internet, they're not saying nothing, they're not doing nothing. It's bigger than giving. I, although I thank you for giving everybody, everyone for donating, everybody for giving. Everybody, it's, it's bigger than money. It's bigger than money. Uh, casino, they're having a, a circuit engineer day, or they already had it. I'm uncertain. It's either coming up or it has happened. But they were teaching kids circuits. Okay, circuit engineering. Do you know everything that go into circuits? And the person he, he used to help build and design them goddamn Chrysler cars. And I like Chrysler. I'm gonna trade my car in for a Chrysler. That's gonna be my next upgrade. A truck, a Chrysler truck, because I like Chrysler. It has the cross symbol, and I'm with the cross all day, every day. I used to have a Jesus mobile. 
I didn't name this car. I used to have some flowers in there. That, that was a car I rode to the wheels fell off. Okay? Period. But anyways, back to what I was saying. Let me tell you something. My life was impacted at six years old. Six years old. And I didn't have money. I didn't have... All we had was the projects and the people that cared in the projects. And there was an elder who impacted my life. She told me about Jesus at six years old. That was an impact in my life. Because I'm 53 and I still remember her. She's long gone. But I always think about that was my introduction to good and evil, Jesus introduced me to Jesus early on in life and I didn't know anything about nothing because I'm a child six years old we got to get these kids young we got to get these babies young I still remember her name Mrs. Brown and I always have her in my prayers I think she was a true saint because today to know the way that I am and to know that I still think about Jesus at six years old, from six years old up to date, yes, I'm amazed, amazing grace. So believe me, what Kwame Brown is doing, what Demas Talanucci is doing, reach out to him too. I share these brothers information because I feel like they're gonna touch somebody out here. I have many social medias, but I'm just trying to focus on one and two between my Facebook because I like to do marketing. So I like to build their brand by, you know, sharing their content, their videos on my page, letting the people know who they are and, you know, what they're doing in this world. You know, I share more good content than the foolishness if i share foolishness it's really truly an educational purpose for educational purpose not to do that you can do it if you want but i'm advising you not to do that by sharing a video of some fuckery that's going on out here okay that could change your life flip it upside down and i always think you gotta reach people at a young age and you gotta talk to them and approach them in a manner that is respectful that's a mild temperance with love, with understanding. You understand? You have to talk to people with respect. And that is the bottom line in order to make a difference in their life. Because people will remember that. And nine times out of ten, that's something you could take to your grave. You will always remember the people that impacted you in a good way. And I had some people, and even though they're not here, and some of them wasn't, they didn't, they did them in this life. Because I wouldn't, can tell you, listen, they did them. They wasn't always walking with the Lord, but they was always doing them. And they lived, loved me and cared for me and always had kind words for me. And always accepted me. See, I never had the money, but I was always cool. And I wasn't trying to be because I was more sought for and sought out and sought after than I seek after anyone. Because that's not me. But I'm not the type that I like to talk. So I love people. Period. That's me. So my point is this, guys. We got to rally around the man who is asking nothing but willing to do the most. And all he asked was get you know, let's get coding and trading trades into these schools. We need that because if we have that, a child have a better chance, a youth have a better chance of walking on a job site, knowing what the hell to do, what they're talking about, what the language is, and what is expected of them. Yeah, that sounds like success to me. When That sounds like you're preparing. When you prepare people, you know, even if they want to be rappers and ball players, teach them engineering. We done made more money for first generations off of engineering, rap, music, 
rap came from the Congos. Okay? From the Congos. That's where music originated from. Them taking goddamn animal skins and put, making drums. The Congos. Black people. Again. And from God. Original. Because God pre creates singers. That's why some people can sing and some can't. It's all from the lineage of God. Everything that you see people great out here in those skills God gave them. They used them in the wrong way. But God blessed them to have those traits and those skills. It's natural. Some people can rap. It's just opening their mouth. They just sound good. Flowing. Flowing. Some people can sing. We got all of us can sing. We're supposed to be singing for the Lord. That's one of my desires. Okay? To get one of those speakers and sing hymns and gospels. I love the Lord. I don't mind singing and I don't have to. You see, I'm singing for the Lord in front of the public, the people. I don't have to be perfect because in his eyes, I'm perfect for wanting to do that to him. So for wanting to honor him, even though he's not here on this earth as men. So, you know, I don't have to be perfect. I just got to be me and that's all I'm willing to be. Okay? Period. It's very hot and I'm overdressed. Ugh. So guys, I think I did enough. Um Y'all know y'all see my, my design, my second design. I'm gonna work on it some more. Believe me, that design took me all day because I'm still learning. And the good thing with learning technology is to do it with it. Cause I wanna come, I like this type of stuff. I love it. And I want to improve my speech. I want to be like some people I know that talk so damn good. I can't do it sometimes. But as long as you understand me, then you got me. You understand what I'm saying? But then there's times I'm like, what the fuck did I say? <laughs> and that's the bad part I want to change. So guys, I, I think I did a little over. Now I got to go to 45 because I kind of want to end it. Not a, you know, a good time, not an awkward time. So it's 37 minutes I was talking to y'all. I'm nowhere near. I am nowhere near the laundry mat. You know that, guys? I couldn't find a laundry card, so I'm like, where are these cards at? I don't know. But okay, guys. I don't really have anything else to say. I want everybody to have a great, prosperous, abundant day. You know, do some D, D, what is it? D, I, Y's, do it yourselves. Learn some new information from YouTube, other than, you know, all the drama that's going out there. Because you know what? If we want to help in the movement of Mama's Cooking, Kwame Brown, where our parents taught us, and ride this wave because this is a beautiful wave i love this wave you know then we got to get some real solid skills so we can be starting to go into places where we can make a difference and network with people that can show us that have our same passion and and you know we're on the same page and we think alike like minds like everyone in that goddamn boardroom is brainstorming with one purpose and goal. And I think, I know, I love children. I know you love children. I know Kwame love children. I know Casino for Life love children. I know Hood Hampton love children. We got to just get past character and just, you know, listen to the real information. The real information. We don't, it's no more jive shucking crap anymore. It's, listen, and there's another person I want y'all to check him out. His channel, The Lighthouse. The Lighthouse. Okay? Big shout out to my girl, <laughs> Miss Mouth of the South, Miss 504 Mouth of the South. That's my adopted auntie. My adopted nephew is MHB, most hated blogger. I love him. That's my man, you know, and a few other people. 
a lot of people, but keep creating content and keep, you know, just keep taking care of yourself. Keep winning. That's it. Every day. Make every day matter and every day count in your life. If, whatever you're doing. Just remember, peace, be still, do right, and you will have peace. You will be at peace. And every now and again, or every day, or whenever, find you some gospel music. Gospel harp music, gospel music. Find you some meditation music without lyrics, just something with a nice rhythm, okay? I love gospel because, you know, it puts me in a whole different mindset. When you are a truck driver, they want you to listen to easy listening music because they want your mind to be at peace when you're driving on the road. So, you want to set everything in order. You want to make sure everything, everything in your life is done decently and in order. You want to change the way you approach people. You understand? Because they got a saying that you can get a lot with honey. But if you're respectful, you don't have to sugarcoat anything and get anything with honey. Do you? You understand? Do you? Don't sit there and be like, oh, I'm going to act, pretend to like this person when I really don't. I'm just going to suck up to them. I'm not sucking up to nobody. And you know what? If it ain't, I don't need you if I don't, need, if I don't respect you. <laughs> Baby said, you know, I be trying to smile at them, but I ain't feeling them. You know, you know, like some jive turkeys, sometimes that be how you see how people move. You know what I mean? You know how they operate and how they get down. Even with, with, see, money and character has nothing to do with each other when you are woke. The reason that everyone can, can speak the way they wish and choose to, because they're free. Freedom is important. Freedom to speak. Freedom to, to say the right thing, to speak the truth in a room full of goddamn lying, evil, wicked ass people, principalities and power. Ooh, he about to kill something, run in the damn light. See, right there, it's a light right here. He all mad, driving off fast, ran the red light, just to get over there. I wish there was a police there and caught his ass. You understand? And then damn like that's how people get ran over and stuff. People like that. In fact, I'm gonna tell you a story about this lady. She went, I met her like some time ago, and I was like, Oh, how is that lady doing that lived over there? He was like, Oh, that lady's dead. I was like, What? She's dead, right? So he was like, Yeah, she was like, she went out to get her some cigarettes from the store. Listen, just down the street from my house, going to the store to get some cigarettes. And you know how, like, she she was walking, and it was one car stopped for her, but the car, another car went around that car and hit her. And guess what? She didn't have no ID on her, and she was like, you know, a missing person for a long time in the morgue. They couldn't claim her because she didn't have an ID on her. Isn't that something? Isn't that something? Christmas Day. Going to get some cigarettes. I bet you her child never liked freaking Christmas again. Mommy never came back. Mommy never came back. That's why you don't do stuff like that. You take your time in driving. You're going to get there. You just call in and let them know I'm running late if you're working. But you don't... You don't rush. You gotta, especially in the summertime, because there's always kids out, people walking in some areas more than others. 
you know, balls, kids playing with balls, balls going in the street. So you gotta drive with sense. Like, like really, 25, the speed limit, you're not, you're not in that much of a rush. You're already late. You understand? So you might as well just be like, yo, instead of being out here trying to hurt shit, because that lady got killed in the process of that. You know, and then the other thing, too, was that she didn't have her ID with her. Always take your ID with you. Always take your ID with you. That is very, very important. And when you go to the registry, always leave an emergency contact. Because guess what? If something happened to you, the first thing they do is get your identification. They go to the registry to find out your emergency contact. So always leave an emergency contact. Anybody. That can identify you, anybody that can reach your family, anybody. There's something going on over here. I don't know what's, oh, they're painting a mural or something. I don't know what's going on, but I got business that way. But they're painting a mural, which is nice, you know, good for them. So, okay, guys, I'll talk to you later.